Hello and welcome to Enjoy SharePoint YouTube channel. I am Vijay, a Microsoft MVP, and in this video, we are going to see how we can build a Power Apps form uh, from an Excel uh, spreadsheet. So this is uh, um, this is this will be an introduction to how what is Power Apps and how we can design the forms. So Power Apps is basically a subscription based service for uh, building applications. So, so to, to build where you can build applications quickly and uh, it the applications uh, uh, or the Power Apps works uh, based in mobile or tablet devices and uh, uh, Power Apps, it will not be uh, wrong if you'll tell that, you know, Power Apps is a good tool for building uh, mobile business apps. So uh, once you uh, build the app or the app, uh, whatever you are uh, you, you are building using Power Apps uh, can be connected to various data sources and will be uh, there will be screens to uh, to display items or to uh, view data. So it will connect to a data source and it will have uh, various forms as well. So the data source can be OneDrive, or Dropbox, Salesforce, Dynamics 365, anything in this any kind of uh, you know cloud providers. Lot of uh, um, data sources can be. Uh, possible in power apps forms so in power apps will see will normally we use excel like functions for formulas to build uh, the functionality and uh, so so if you know excel and then it will be not much difficult for you to de to develop the functionality in power apps because we are using similar uh, like excel formulas and uh, power apps also provide various templates uh, where we can uh, have uh, uh, there are some built-in templates are available like uh, you know budget tracker or service uh, uh, apps like that so, so a few of the templates are available and uh, so i will open uh, i'll i'll open my browser and then we'll see i'll go to powerapps.com and uh, there you if you have not signed in then you can it will ask you to sign in you can see here so click on sign in and uh, once it will you will sign in then you can see the power apps uh, studio home page where you can uh, see various templates you can where you can use various uh, uh, various uh, forms to i mean various ways you can uh, create it you can create the new forms you will be able to see all your apps whatever you have built previously so now this is the screen and then you will see here uh, I'll click on create and if you'll say click on create you can see here there are a lot of other things are available here so uh, and this is the uh, this is the templates that i was talking about you can see here there is a meeting capture power ups training onboarding tasks help desk uh, uh, apps are available similarly there are budget tracker and site inspection these are really a very good apps which you can follow and you can design your uh, power apps uh, forms as well so you can see here there is a leave request app also is available so what we'll do over here is we'll try to connect to a sharepoint uh, uh, sorry it will uh, try to connect to an excel sharepoint will take in a separate video now for that what i'll do is uh, i'll go and first create a uh, you know excel spreadsheet so i'll uh, go here i'll say right click and new uh, Excel worksheet. So I will say, suppose I'll say products. And here, what I'll do is I'll open and I'll insert a table. So uh, you need to make sure that uh, when you are adding the the structure, then it should be the first column should be the columns. The first row should be the columns which which you you want to use. So I'll go to insert and then uh, there is a table. So here. Uh, uh, you can see uh, I need uh, let's say three columns I need uh, so in these three columns click on OK now you can see here column one so I'll change this I'll change to product ID and the second one I'll take uh, product title and uh, the next one I'll take a uh, product description so you can see here description I'll take like this and also I can uh, uh, insert some data into that. So I'll say product or we can say laptop. It's a 16 GB laptop. And uh, I will similarly, I will take uh, uh, two, three, four. I'll just give you an ID desktop. And it is 8 GB desktop. 
and I'll take a mobile and I'll say it's 6 GB RAM like this I can, I can take and if you'll see here so I'll save this and let's just uh, uh, we can just rename it what you can do here is once it is uh, ready now uh, go to the design tab and we'll just rename it so instead of table one we will say it is products so that it will uh, or we'll say product details something like that okay we'll take a product i'll put a underscore details so this is our uh, uh, product uh, uh, details excel now cross it and i'll open my OneDrive for business now so i'll go here you can see here there is this will be one drive so you can see here so this is my OneDrive for business okay so where you can uh, uh, we will upload the file so if you'll see here i will uh, upload that file so you can see click on upload files and i will take it from my desktop you can see here now it is upload it is uploading yeah it's uploaded now so what you can do is now coming back to our power ups of our studio i will stay start from data you can see here click on create and uh, then what it will do is we will uh, see uh, there will be a see the, the this start with data just choose uh, you know one drive for business and the phone layout and uh, if you'll see here this is our product uh, uh, table so choose it so this is what is the table that we want to connect so this is our data source click on connect so it will uh, now uh, making our app ready so you'll see here So it will take some time to build the app and uh, there you'll be able to see all your screen everything will be there so now you can see here this is uh, your app and uh, if you'll see there are three screens are there browse screen uh, detail screen and edit screen and each screen has a uh, different functionality this is the apps uh, app start page and if you'll see here this is the uh, browse screen now what in power ups you can do is you can click on this uh, uh, preview button so if you will click on this preview you can see here uh, 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 this this is how the screen is appearing and it looks like a mobile uh, screen so if i want to see the details of this item you can see here uh, this is the details i can edit i can delete and if you'll see here now um, this I, i'll click on new so i i'll be able to add a, a new a product description product id or title something like that suppose i will say uh let's say it's related to a laptop so i'll say 32 gb laptop and product id i can take anything and then here if you'll say product title i will say laptop something like that click on save so it will basically save the data now you can see here there is uh, 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 one more uh, 32 gb laptop this is this is the item that we have added now and uh, i'll close this preview and i'll show you in this screen if you'll see um, here actually there's a plus button which will uh, on select of that you can see here you are opening the new uh, form and uh, then the edit uh, by screen and then you can see here navigate to edit screen and uh, on non uh, or you can see here this is the screen uh, transition and uh, so this is how your excel data you don't need to do anything it by default added all these things you can search you can filter you can sort uh, the order uh, that way and uh, why this is a blank record is coming because if you remember in that excel we have a blank record is there and uh, if you if you click on file uh, there is a where you can uh, give a app name suppose i'll say excel uh, demo 
and uh, then you can set an icon if you want you can give a description on that and this is the app, uh, uh, you know app uh, uh, settings page and then you can save it so you can see here now it is uh, it is coming that name and then you can click on save so it is saving our power apps form and uh, power apps and uh, now you can see here you can share with uh, other users if you want or anytime you will uh, go to um, open and then you will be able to see here uh, you can see here available apps and this is your excel demo you can click on that and then it will open your uh, power apps form you can see uh, this is how we can you can come back and you will be able to edit the form and uh, also what you can do is if you'll go to apps and uh, here you'll be able to see uh, your all your apps whatever uh, you have created and if you if you'll click on that this is actually which it is opening your apps so uh, the other one is whatever we saw that was opening in the edit form in the studio where you can just edit the app now if you'll see here this is really the um, apps that you can share the url and people can use it so if you if i'll go here you can see um there is there you can do play you can share with other users the settings where you can again change and things like that and then delete if you want to delete the app so this is how we can once you click on play means it will open the form uh, power ups and then here you can play around with that i'll say new screen you will be able to see here it is coming uh, and then I'll go to any uh, details page if I want to edit I'll click on edit and then uh, it will I'll be able to edit the items and so this is how it will work and uh, once whatever the data you are working here it will the back end will be our excel file which is uh, in the OneDrive so uh, even if you are adding one item this is ultimately it will go and then it will store in that excel file so hope this uh, very simple uh, power ups uh, demo you you may like it so if you want more videos updates then subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, there you will get notified on various um, video tutorials that we we upload related to sharepoint power bi microsoft flow power apps so all these related videos you will get it so thank you and subscribe to our channel have a nice day